my god, this man means serious business! <gasps> what? Suddenly, I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkempt pigeons. <laughs> Punk engine? Oh my god, listen to the music! <laughs> the serious business music is back! You go to St. Pigeons, don't ya? I'd bet a rich little girl like you gets lots of pocket money from daddy, huh? Rich little punk going to fancy cool thinks she's so great. <laughs> Darn it, I... I can't tell them apart. I could... Wait, what? I can pick Ryota out of a crowd 80% of the time, but Rock Doves... I've just met all the same. Wow, racist. Fucking racist. Do you have some business with me? If not, go away! Hey, that's not nice. Show us some cash first. Cash. They puff up, they buff up their chest threateningly. Dumb punks! Picking on girls in park is a good way to get ostracized for life! What? What? You little... They're angry now. My hunter-gatherer instincts can feel a fight coming. Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? I'm only a either at least five foot four, if not six foot tall human being that weighs over a hundred pounds. How can I deal with three pigeons? Oh man, fight coming! SLAM! THUD! Huh? The work of a moment. Some birdie fit, flits forward, and in the blink of an eye, the doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. Looming majestically over the fallen doves is... Batman... Oh, not a zombie. Oh, no. Her again. That was close, Cecil! Are you sure you should be out this way? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Who are you? Me? Well, I'm Birdman. I'll be Birdman. I'm a passing Takoyaki lady. Takoyaki later. Takoyaki, don't screw with us. They're stubborn. Here they come. We're not gonna take this from a virgin human. Take this. Yeah! Not done yet, huh? I'll teach your chicks a lesson! Sparrow kick! So cool, your sparrow kicks are super cool, this army. Don't relax just yet! This is where the real fight starts! I'm running out of voices to do. The zombie fluttering but uh, neon lights, me gleefully punching the daylights out of the punctions. Punctions. Fighting back to back. Now that's what. That's trust. Oh man. Oh man, oh goodness, oh man. Today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Who should I go with? Invite. Well, I've got to invite my senpai. Let's go. Go! Oh! It is. Is it true that you take Okusan to a wonderful place? Yep, today's the summer festival. Let's go together. Oh man, look at that. Go! Oh! Okusan smells excellent things. Okusan's excitement is almost at maximum. <laughs> There's a lot of good food! More than we could ever try! Oh! Perhaps even pudding? Well, probably not. I've never seen a stand selling pudding. Oh look! The fireworks are starting! Oh man! <laughs> uh, aren't they pretty, Arkusan? Okusan? Go! Go! No, he lost himself to the shining lights and returned to his feral ancestry. What? 
come down, Oko-san, come down! Oh man, that was a close one. Time sure flies when I'm in here. Say all around, Kenzabaru. Oh. Hey, Cecil! Huh? Rabu finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day, gestures to me on his way out the door. Here, this is your tip. It's the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. Oh my lord, it's a rare candy. The magical candy bin. Uh, uh, so young men from Osaka can do it too. Say y'all round! Losers. Good day to you, Rabu. Well, this was an interesting day. Uh, I think it is time that we close up. Would you care for something, Cecil? It would be as good after... It won't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there anything Tanjiro left? I have no idea what that means. Of course, I'm not a weeaboo, so I don't know. Of course. Here, you are. There. Oh my lord, they get out a little mini marshmallows in it. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's, I want that. I'm hungry for hot chocolate now. Mm. Tanjiro from a fancy cup is the best. I'll have to look that up later. I'm sure it's just hot chocolate. If not, I'm sure if it's something like it and I want it. That or it's probably something really weird and obscure in Japan that's made from like the the intestinal fluids of young children in the Alps, maybe. I don't know. They have strange things in foreign countries. Anyway, let me see. Hmm. By the way, Mr. Yes? Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? A chauffeur, apparently. He's generally out all night. He likes to come here to relax before work. A, a, a budgeter who works at night? Whaaaaa? Don't be racist. There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. You inconsiderate little prick. The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. This guy is way too chill. Rabu is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. And here I took him for the type to go behind the wheel. Go wild behind the wheel. Yeah, he seems like... He seems like the type that would just... Being a chauffeur, you immediately think... yee Look at that big and squeal! I can almost hit that cat, I guarantee you! Wanna bet? Hmm, I haven't met another careful driver. Is, haven't I met another? Ah, ah, ah. We're gonna ship two people together. Azami and Rabu, let's go. The OTP of the century. Oh my lord. One more week until the end of August. Oh no. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. Not that I can't come back in here for more of that Tinjuru shit. Thank you for everything, Miss Cecil. It's been a pleasure. Likewise, thank you for everything, Mr. I think I'll be back sometime as a customer. Y'all retiring early? Miss Cecil's a student and must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. I haven't even finished half of my summer's homework. Oh, that's Cecil, whatever. And face. Yeah, you said that the beginning of the summer and you were like, I should do homework. And then immediately we're like, you know what? No, I'll get a job. Doing the last half in one week. I reckon you'll do just fine. Not. I'm gonna feel real lonely around here without you, Cecil. Lee's kids and Baru ain't going anywhere. Naturally not. Rabu sips from his cup very, very, very politely with one talon up as he sips it. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of the cafe's business, which means he's probably the only thing keeping this place open. 